Alrighty folks, another day with another Bed Bath & Beyond stock video. Let's break down what in the world is going on right now. It's currently around what, 2 p.m., a little past 2 p.m., so we're pretty much almost done the day today. So let's break down how the stock's been doing, what the charts are looking like, what I'm looking to do. So if you find value, smash that like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo, each up to 2,000 bucks. It is free money, guys. Once you guys use that link down below or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo, once you open up an account you get one free share of stock right off the bat and once you fund your account with at least a hundred dollars you get four more stocks totaling five stocks and listen to this guys once you fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks so if you all want to help out the channel and you want some free money hey who doesn't like free money use that mumu link or again go to stasserfest.com slash mumu and with that being said cheers guys let's dive right into the video so check it out bed bath and beyond stock is currently up around what is it? 3.1% up 0.005 cents. So essentially half a penny is what it's up right now. And in the pre-market, I'm not sure if you guys caught it, but BBBYQ was trading at 20 cents. Take a look at this. On the intraday chart, you'll see we were at 20 and a half cents at around 9 a.m. Then we ended up opening up at around uh, 18 cents. And we've pretty much been consolidating at around 17 cents all day. So today's not a crazy day like it was on Friday or the day before, I believe. Let me pop the five day up. Uh, last week was pretty volatile. You guys remember, especially Friday. We opened up the day at around 19 and a half cents, got down to around 13.7 cents. Then we coasted at around 16 cents into the close. And again, now we're consolidating up 3%, which is not really anything for Bed Bath & Beyond, but we're consolidating at around 17 cents so far on the day. So if I show you guys what we're doing on the intraday chart, you're going to notice something here. So are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? We are consolidating, like I said, at 17 cents, and that's actually above the highs from Friday, or at least one of the highs where, uh, you know, we were struggling pretty much to break out of from the middle of the day Friday all the way into the close. Those highs were right around, you guessed it, 17 cents. So right now we're pretty much holding 17 cents, which was a prominent high on Friday. We're holding that as support. And as long as we do that today, I would consider that a W in the books for the Bulls. Now, if we do fall through 17, we start falling back to 16 cents. We see a flush down to 13 cents. That's not going to be a W for the Bulls. That would not be a good sign at all, especially if we break under 13, 13 and a half cents and we start going 10, 11, 12 cents. That would not be good. But right now, at the time that I'm making this video, I'm not sure when you're watching it, but right now when I'm making it at about 2, 10 p.m., that's what's going on. We're holding 17. We're up a little bit on the day. Not crazy, but we're still up a little bit. And, you know, we're just consolidating, like I said, 10 times throughout the course of this short video, guys. So, you know, at this point, we're just waiting for direction. I'm waiting for direction, especially here on the five day, five minute, which you guys can see we're actually in a downwards channel still, which you all probably remember if you watched my video um, yesterday on Bed Bath & Beyond Stock. We're still trading in this channel and we have to wait for direction, whether we break under, you know, 13 cents, which is why I said 13 is so prominent because we hit 13 a couple days ago. That was actually on Friday. And we actually bounced at the bottom of this channel. But if we test 13 again and we fall through the channel, that's not going to be what the bulls want to see. Obviously, that's not going to be a good sign at all. So, yeah, I mean, if you're a bull here, you need to see this thing break out of 19 cents and start breaking out of 20 cents and this channel, which I'm assuming a lot of you out there are bulls let me know in the comments say bull if you're a bull you want you want to see the stock go up or you're long and say bear if you're not in the stock and you think it's going to go down to zero whatever you think it's going to do um you know say say bear in the comments so i can kind of gauge the audience and i'm assuming most of you guys are bulls i'm a bull i'm in this stock you know you guys know that with a small amount of money uh but i'm still in this stock uh but yeah ju just just to gauge the audience let me know down below type in bull or type in bear i'm actually uh really curious. And again, I'm assuming most of you guys are bulls. But either way, we have to pick direction. We have to break 19 cents, which is why in the pre-market it was looking pretty good. You know, it was at 20 cents, 20 and a half cents. We actually started peaking out of the highs 
from uh, you know Friday in the morning, which we hit roughly 20 cents. But of course, we failed to break out of that high uh, fully. So let's see if we can retake 19 cents. Let's see if we can break out of the channel, take out 21 ish cents. I think that's where we could really start to break out. If so, guys, you know that could be where we get the next massive leg up here on BBBYQ, and that's kind of what I'm waiting for before I do add more shares um, to the account. You guys probably saw my video yesterday where I said I'm looking to buy more Bed Bath & Beyond this week. I didn't do it yet today, guys, but again, if we do start breaking 19 20 cents, that's where I'm looking to buy into the momentum, into the breakout, and we'll see where it goes from that point. And a lot of people have been asking me, Stas, where do I buy Bed Bath & Beyond stock? Well, first of all, I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm not telling you guys to buy. I'm not telling you guys to do anything with this stock because it's very risky, and I'm, and I'm not telling you guys to do anything with any stock out there because all stocks do have risks, some more than others, but all of them do have risk, especially this one right here, Bed Bath & Beyond. But where I buy is on Fidelity. Fidelity Investments. From my understanding, Robinhood doesn't let you buy right now, which is why, I mean, you guys know what happened with Robinhood, with um, you know GameStop, uh, AMC, that whole debacle a couple years ago. They, they, they turned off the buy button. I don't like Robinhood, guys. I've said that time and time again here on the channel. I don't even have a, well, I used to have a Robinhood account, but I haven't traded, traded in that account in years. I freaking hate Robinhood. Sure, the user interface is great. Uh, it's super easy to use. You can just hop on. And a five-year-old could pretty much trade on Robinhood if they really wanted to, right? But as a platform, you know, what they've done with GME, AMC, I don't like them. I can't support them because of that. And from my understanding, you cannot buy BBBYQ right now on Robinhood. But where you can buy it is and where I hold my shares is on Fidelity Investments, guys. And I've been with them for years. And no, this is not sponsored by Fidelity Investments, although that would be uh, pretty cool because I have been with them for, uh, for a long time at this point. But Fidelity is super easy to use, great user interface, and you can buy Bed Bath and Beyond stock, and there's um, you know way more you can do on Fidelity than on Robinhood, but we're not going to get in that uh, into that whole topic. That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. But a lot of people have been asking me in the comments, Das, where do I buy this? Where do I buy that? Fidelity Investments, go check it out. Tell them I sent you, even though you, you probably can't even do that either. Either way, guys, trust me on that. Fidelity is great for buying, uh, you know, BBBYQ if that is what you want to do. No pressure, of course. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to buy because I can't tell you what to do exactly because I'm not a financial advisor. And honestly, guys, you shouldn't be taking full-on financial advice for uh, from a from a person on YouTube anyway. Not saying that I'm an idiot or people on YouTube are idiots, but they don't know your specific financial uh, situation. They don't know your risk profile. There's a lot that goes into it, right? There's a lot that goes into it. Uh, so uh, yeah, do your own research. Make sure to do that, guys, as always, because there's a ton of risk with investing, especially with uh, investing in BBBYQ. So that's a quick update here. It's currently, again, about 2.15-ish p.m., and that's what the stock is doing. It is up 2.5%, now 3%, and we'll see what direction it does end up picking, whether we break out of 9 19, 21 cents, or we do fall under, um, you know, 13 cents, 12 cents. It is going to be one worth watching, and it's going to be fun watching it, uh, you know, for for the you know foreseeable future. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo up to 15 stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks. All you got to do is use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you open up an account, like I said before, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. Once you fund your account with at least $100, you get four more stocks, totaling five stocks. And once you fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks so if you guys want some free money and you want to help out the channel use that Moomoo link down below i appreciate you guys as always and while you're at it you might as well get 12 stocks from weeble that makes it up to 27 stocks link down below so get your money from Moomoo and from weeble check out my patreon as well if you guys are interested all the details are in the description box and with that being said cheers i'll catch you guys later